Hey guys, so welcome back. We are downtown, we are in Hua Hin. We are at Ban Huo Mum restaurant. And this is like central Thai food. It's gonna be stir fried and or deep fried. Dishes like this focus on kind of like Chinese style Thai stir fry and also curry. We are right in the front. <laughs> we are experiencing the atmosphere here. I made friends with the chefs already because I'm watching how they are taking care of these dishes. Right now she was just cooking up some curry, deep frying our fish. We got some barramundi. Looks delicious and then she was making some uh, Penang curry and then some more dishes on the way but just want to show you yeah the atmosphere from the front of the restaurant so cool today how we were out riding around all through the district of Hua Hin this province is Pachuop Kirikan but earlier today we started the bike ride in Petburi so actually two provinces today we are on the way still this is the second day from Bangkok all the way down to Phuket smell that oh man ขอหอมอันนี้ต้องเป็นผัดผงกะหรี่ใช่มั้ยครับหอมมากแต่ใส่กุ้งผมเห็นป้ายมีปูด้วยแต่อันนี้เป็นกุ้งแล้วก็เ
than just riding the bicycles. So the food has been awesome. Of course, that's a given here in Thailand, but I, I really respect how much forethought this team has put into planning out our meals as we move from Bangkok to Phuket. It is not just as if myself and my friends were just picking roadside meals on a, on a bike ride. I usually just have rice and somtam omelets and then pad pao over rice. I basically just rotate that for the whole trip. Actually, one of the things they do is take the orders beforehand and then they have the food almost ready on the table when we roll up. Actually, we were here for about three minutes before the food started hitting the table. So I just want to share this uh, kind of just the final few minutes of today's cycling before we have some more activities. I'm just sitting here listening to the birds. Here is this brackish waterway that is a direct path out to the open ocean, but this is used for all the fishermen to keep their boats here, and we are gonna eat some of their catch right now. This restaurant is just, just surrounded by swampy, delicious seafood vibes, but a cool swampy environment. We have banyans, we have birds chirping. Okay, I am hungry. I'm gonna head over there, see what the team is having for lunch. Pad fry, brio sour one, sweet guy chicken. Pad bio one guy, sweet and sour chicken. Fried with some green onions as well, some white onions, carrots, tomatoes, and then garnish with cilantro. All that white rice, that is definitely a great way to start winding down from a good exercise. <laughs> How was the riding today, everyone? What is it today, Frankie? Find it. Yeah. How's lunch? Very good. Delicious. So I'm on the trek comfort over speed on this tour, but today, because of that tailwind, we were cruising. I would say that was one of the most easy 100 kilometer rides that I've ever done. Most So as we pull into each stop for our first break, we had a snack, we had some fresh fruit, very cool, as we were riding through those pineapple fields earlier in the day, and then to eat that fresh pineapple, and just so cool. Thank you to Pete Dick for cutting it all up beforehand, having it just ready on ice for us when we needed it. That stop was awesome. So the truck makes it here ahead of us. We have all our stuff in the trailer and then all the bike stands are just here waiting for our bikes. Our bikes get to sit, take a break while we get some food, get some snacks. Right now, the scenery again is just so picturesque, so perfect for this section of Thailand. And as we go day by day throughout the trip, the, the geography changes, the scenery, even the culture changes as we move from Bangkok all the way down to Phuket. cruising through beautiful, beautiful views, right and left, past the ocean. We passed these amazing temple scenes, the massive scenery, all these cliff faces, these just, it's, it's almost like the road was a valley, just separating sometimes two cliffs, one on either side, and sometimes the ocean on your left and the cliffs on the right. The 300 Peaks National Park is just so glorious, so gorgeous. Today, it was overcast, which protected us from the bright sunshine, which was awesome, very appreciated. It's not so hot today, but uh, in, in a sunny day, you might have to deal with the sun, but also the views would be even more more sharp, more stunning. But today, I prefer a day like today because it helps us just enjoy the ride a little bit more because the temperature was not very high. So the name of the restaurant is Ban Huo Mum because Huo Mum means uh, intersection. So it is just the house at the intersection. You can see the sign right there, Ban Huo Mum. And again, we are in downtown Hui Hin. Check out the amount of morning glory I'm looking at right now.
You've got to love restaurants like this, just with a massive stainless steel workstation. It's actually four ladies taking care of us. Oh, I see the fish is going to the table over there. Kong Lao, do I tell my cup? Yes. Can I have some? Yes. Oh, oh, ยอดเยี่ยมยอดเยี่ยมผู้ใช้เก่งมากเลยของครับของครับมะกอนเป็นครูสอนที่ภาคอีสานเก้าปีอันนี้จะเป็นทัวร์จักรยานนะครับแต
It actually takes a few steps because they boil the meat first, then let it set, even sit outside so it even gets a little bit of sourness, and then they deep fry it. Just cover it with deep fried garlic, and then uh, some green chilies. The young chilies really add a nice smell to that. <laughs> mm -hmm. There's like an art to ordering Thai food to get like five or six dishes to balance each other. So each dish will take care of like kind of a different part of the flavor profile. Okay. So the so if we ordered one more, it would be like a vegetable soup, and then maybe even one more would be like a super spicy, super spicy curry soup. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to say something about the food? Yeah. But I want. I would be happy if yeah, you say yeah. something about this. Yeah, yeah. No, no. Uh, Sure, sure, yeah. I think it's better with the... Oh, it's here. There we go. I have to go to the bones. So it's a whole fish, so remember there are bones. But it's deep fried, so the bones won't be uh, as dangerous. What a meal. What a finish. The day today was actually quite an easy day for the ride, but it was so hot. Man. Yeah, it was tough. We drank a lot of water, ate a lot of food. It was delicious. Looking forward to tomorrow. We got the, the briefing just now. Tomorrow we're going to Kui Buri. Kui Buri is right along the coast. Gonna have some beautiful coastal riding tomorrow. Cannot wait to get the drone up again, but also just share the energy as we continue our way to the south. Thank you for hanging out with me all the way till dinner today. It's 8.30 p.m. We were talking a lot just about, you know, Cycling is one of those hobbies that just brings people who might not ever have a reason to build a friendship together right to the same table, to the same ride, to the same roads, and just the cool conversations that can happen, you just never know. So I love cycling, you know that, but I also highly recommend taking up cycling even just as a hobby, just because it will diversify your friends, your base of friends. I mean, Totally. I'm friends with so many people now who I would never ever hang out with. No. <laughs> who I would never just have the pleasure of meeting if not for our lives together on two wheels. So see you tomorrow. Have a great sleep. Later. <laughs> Much love as always. Thank you for supporting me, for just geeking out with me on all the stuff. The food, the miles on the bike, and just the, yeah, the friendships, like I said. See you soon.